Hi, welcome to RoboJax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make uh, an AC light or a LED light on and off using a push button. For example, when you push this button, the LED is on and stays on even if you remove your hand and push it again, the LED is off even if you remove your hand. Or using a relay, turning on and off an AC bulb. Stays on. And when I press it again, it stays off. So let's get started and explain you how this, how you connect this and also explain you the code. The code also will be provided, uh, the link in the description below. Or you can go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So now let me explain the relay. So this is a relay module with all the terminals and everything, the circuitry. This is a five volt relay. It needs some transistor diode and other circuitry. So they put them all as one module. So we have here three terminals that you connect it to your load, AC or DC. In this case, I'm connecting an AC load. So you will have two wires. One wire will be connected to common. This is called normally connected. And this is called NO, normally open. So when you connect your wires, you connect one of them always here at the middle and the other wire will be connected here or here. So if you got an issue or problem not understanding it, never change the middle one. Always change the switch the wire either here or here. So normally connected means if there is no power, no energy, nothing, if you connect the wire here, so the wire comes, it's always connected without anything, it will be on. But normally open means this is normally open if you connect two wire, one here and one here. So it will turn on or connected when there is power or energy to the relay or the signal that comes. So this is normally open and when the signal comes, it will turn the light or another device that you have will on, turn them on. Now on this side, we have three pens here and also we have red LED and green LED. So the red LED is the power LED when this module needs separate power, this will always be on if the power is connected. So the green LED will turn on when there is a signal or command to, command to control the relay. So we will have VCC, this is connected to five volts, this is connected to ground, or negative wire as some people call it, or zero volts. So these two must be connected to the power or to the or Arduino. And this is connected to the signal. This is N or input. So when the signal comes, this light goes on and the relay goes on and uh, normally open will be connected to common. So the power comes and goes. It allows it to pass through. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnect it will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. LED is light emitting diode so it has two pens uh, so it has two pens. The long one is anode which is a positive and the short one is cathode so which is negative so the positive voltage must come here so it can be turned on and off so i'm connecting it now here so we have two types of push button here the tiny one so one is with a two pen that you can insert it directly to breadboard it has longer pen this is shorter pen you might not be able to easily insert it into arduino but both of them can be used so if you want to use this one you can solder a wire and then insert it into the uh, mm, breadboard. Top of both of these are exactly the same, except the pens are different. And this one has four pens. So this, and this has two pens. So this can connect two wires with one push. 
which can connect the two switch, but this can do with one switch. So both of these can be used to turn the light on and off. Now I have connected the AC wire, the two wires here, between the normally open and common. And on this side, I've connected these three wires. So this is VCC, this is ground, and the green on the right side is a signal. And here is the breadboard. So the green from the relay, from the signal, this comes connected to this pin on the breadboard, which is connected through this uh, yellow wire to pin 10. So that's connected to pin 10. Pin 2 of the Arduino is connected to the uh, this switch. So one side is connected here, and then we have this switch, push button switch. So, and then on the other side of the push button, so there are two wires for the push button. One is this one, the other is this one. This is connected to the ground, which is this line. This line is all connected. And then from here also the positive of, this is connected to positive of relay and the yellow is the negative to the relay. This black goes to the Arduino negative or ground and this goes to five volts, which is here. So now let me show you here the, uh, and the first thing, I've also created this. This will be also provided so you can download it. So this is uh, not a fully com compatible relay module, but I just made it like that so you can see it. So these two wires are connected to the AC bulb. The two that you have will be connecting here and here. And then we have three pins here. VCC goes to five volts, ground goes to ground, and then N goes to the pin 10 this way. It goes to pin 10. We have also an LED on the on the breadboard so you can see it also here on this it was just for the test you can remove it if you don't want to uh, if you if you just use relay you don't need it if you don't use relay so this is for learning purpose and this is the switch which is connected from two to the switch and then from switch goes to the ground this is the code now on the arduino So P button pin, your push button pin is pin two, which is connected to the push button and then relay pin, which is connected to pin 10 to the relay or LED. So you can change these if you don't have these pin two or 10 available, if they are occupied or used for something else, you can change it accordingly, doesn't matter. As long as you change one of those digital pins on the right side of the Arduino one of these pins except the w 1 and 0 anything between 2 to 13 so you can put those and then this one you do not touch it so this is a value which is a push button value from pin 2 this is a light on and then this is the push status so this is for the purpose of keeping it on and off so please do not touch it otherwise the, the uh, sketch will not work. So now we have inside setup. We are just putting this for printing on the serial monitor, which I will show you next. And then we are defining push button pin with input pull up. It's very important that you should have pull up, not just input. Okay, so this could work also with pen uh, input without the pull up, but we would need extra cap resistor here. Okay, to eliminate that resistor, I've made it, I use the pull up, so this eliminates using of extra resistor and then relay pin, which is defined here at pin 10, is the output. So you don't need to touch this one because if you ch make changes, the change will reflect here, so it doesn't matter. Now, inside the loop, the loop is a feature that uh, everything here will be repeated. So this is a push button pin, the value is stored here when is pushed, the value is stored here. We, we say if the value is equal high and the light is equal on, you see light, the variable at the top, which is low, we say push button is equal one minus pushed, pushed one minus pushed, and we wait 100. So this is memorizing or keeping the status of the push button, it just detects it, 
and here it updates it when it's pushed when it's pushed first time it gets one value when it's pushed for the second time it gets different value so light on will change depending on this value of um, this uh, when it's pushed so anyway so we say if pushed is equal high then we say light on print that text here for us uh, let me bring that click on tools and then serial monitor oh it's not connected so let me connect the board and then now serial monitor it shows light on and then when I push it you see light off so it shows relay to the low the output so this will keep the, the light on and then it says light off it prints light off otherwise and keeps the pen 10 high and now we will get the status here so it says light on so when you connect it initially you can keep it off if you wish otherwise the light is on so now I'm pushing it the light off and also this value also is reflecting it when I push it again the light on and also you see this light shows on so this way you can control the light this was example of a push button keeping the light on and keeping the light off with a push button thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and also if you have not subscribed please do so now I will have a lot of cool other projects coming so you get updates